way crooks oh, Now we all grown up and old Tough and hot, relaxing You look like you're ready for a Ford commercial The Falcon got bigger turbos. Yeah, so can't believe it. <laughs> he got gas ties by a street car. <laughs> Steve. Well, Steve's in Florida, isn't yeah, he? Steve's vacation. I'm gonna have to ask you, what's the good news? The good news? Yeah, what's the good news, Rob? We are very, see, he's getting us, uh, we're very close to the blue truck being done. We got a few other little things. This is getting ready to go. It'll blow painted. away! Yeah, it will! You just killed his little heart. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's your good news? Uh, my good news? I'm not really sure. The day's just getting started for me. Haven't spun the wheel yet, huh? I haven't. This is the first time I have even reached out to spin the wheel of life. And so far we're watching this. I think that's gonna it was in here. We, me and Billy took it out of here. Spin the wheel. Hood flies out of the bed of the C10. That's probably what would is about to happen. <laughs> then it would land in a goat pen, and then the goats would climb on it and just fuck it all up. That's my luck. I'm looking for my drone. I'm not sure where it's at. Is it in the elbow or in the Is it in the tree out front? No, it's not. Really? No, it's not in a tree. Looking almost snazzy today. He is kind of handsome. Got a new flannel on. Yeah, it's bib over all weather now. He's so happy. He's looking festive. Yeah. Very festive today. I think he's happy after that street race. He's like feeling himself. Yeah. There's a possibility of that. He's ready for a Ford commercial. A Ford commercial? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go see if we can find a laptop charger for my old laptop because apparently once you use one of those cables to connect to one of those 6AL boxes, you can only use that same laptop because if it's the driver software on it and they're linked up or whatever, I don't know. Some 1999 bullshit. We were just talking about how handsome you were. Your mom got me this shirt and in an attempt to get sexual favors, I wore it. <laughs> you look like you're ready for a Ford commercial. Hey, did she give you your pizza pill today? Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. While we're out, we're gonna go pick up my, my trophy from Josh Robinson for the Ohio, or no, World Series of No Prep series. So I was uh, second place this year in the World Series <laughs> of No Prep and uh, close second to KC Max. But he's got $900 for me and a trophy, so. Nice. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that. Nothing wrong with silver. I mean, just woke up this morning and pissed excellence. Yeah. Nothing wrong with silver at all. Yeah. Ryan's, uh, Ryan's Ricky Bobby and I'm Cal Naughton Jr. He's got the hot wife and <laughs> it's into that. So we're here at Columbus Car Audio. We're gonna go look at some speakers and maybe an amp for the blue truck. Yeah, so we wanna we wanna be able to bump when we're in the staging lanes or pulled up on the street that we're racing on. If we get to keep it. Yeah. If not, it's somebody's gonna get a nice sounding stereo in their truck because the truck's quiet, so you'll be able to cruise, listen to the radio, since we put the OG stuff back in there. Yeah. Let's do this. Jags of Reynolds Bird. Hell 
At least it doesn't have Corvette tail lights with the with the fucking roll pan. Oh, roll pan. Nobody's got some kind of LEDs across the back of it right there. Dude, he's gonna get all the accessories for that bitch. <laughs> yeah. That's what I wanna know. I can't remember, I have to look it up. It was like 10, 20 ish. Damn. Always right Freaking, behind Ryan. I mean he was killed that's the thing, uh he probably only did like half the races I did too. Two Warner Woods, but yeah. there's so many rounds and then he won both of them. Yeah. That was what did it. It's pretty awesome. Look at you go. That's cool. Thank you for supporting the, the local guys, man. And doing this. Try to have fun. Try to make it a fun again, man. Wait till you hear about some of the shit we got for next year. Oh boy. Next year's gonna be fun. Me and Tony uh, McKinney are gonna do a race that are Really? Nothing like it ever, and it's uh, yeah. I'm excited building that new car this winter, and you know the S10 and the Falcon will be out too. So yeah. Falcon will have a new 388 twin 76 mirror image precisions. Nice. I'm excited. Hopefully, I can come in second place next year. <laughs> <laughs> you did last year. Nothing wrong with silver. you get the where the co2 bottle and everything is in there now oh nice we we're thinking about doing it fast and furious style and putting it in the seat <laughs> Toretto's seat he lifts it up like he's got like eight mini nitrous bottles in there <laughs> let me step into your beat laboratory I think that these should be smashed with my excavator once we get them off so they can't contaminate any other vehicle. So this project started at about noon today and it's now five o'clock and we have accomplished nothing. It's got these lug nuts on it that are like 10 spline for so people can't, I'm guessing so people can't steal them. It's like a special socket. I don't know. Yeah. So we went to Harbor Freight mm -hmm. and they didn't have what we needed. Right. So I called Uncle Buckwheat for a <clears throat> fuck you socket. I'm removing you anyway. And that's what we have here. But now we can't find a socket to fit the fuck you socket. Do you hear that? That's the sound of holiday joy at the Home Depot. Do you hear that? That's the sound of holiday joy at Home Depot. <laughs> What's the good news today? The good news is we got a proper tool for this now. Nice. And the old bushings came out really easy with the air hammer that Rob graced us with this morning. Except for he cut himself with yeah, the air hammer. I graced my finger with the... And so I had to take over. Who's Grace? One side come out really easy, the other side come out like kind of hard, but it's okay. This is inside of my Rob, you picked the perfect day to have something going on yesterday. Boy. Oh, it was a shit mess yesterday. Billy was in tears. Uh, lug nuts were flying. Oh, I, he, he, trust me, he called me. Yeah, apparently they don't sell those sockets anywhere. You gotta get them on Amazon sometimes. You know, if they keep cutting down the Amazon rainforest, I don't know where everybody's gonna get their stuff. That's a good point. I got a couple things coming from Amazon tomorrow. Oh, you do, huh? Mm-hmm. What do you got? I'm embarrassed to say. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
the PSP. <laughs> That's not embarrassing. I got Need for Speed Pro Street and Need for Speed Carbon. They're gonna be fun to play while I'm at PRI, avoiding people. So we did get a proper tool, but it doesn't quite go wide enough when it's at full width. So gotta use a hammer to get it started. I bought a football for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Nice. That'll be fun. And your birthday. Something to look forward to. Your birthday is Sunday or Saturday? Uh, it's on the 26th. How old are you? I'll be 27. Wow. Yeah. You're on the closer side to 30. Uh, he's a young buckwheat. Still. When he was, he was a, a young, young warthog. <laughs> when I was a young warthog. <laughs> we need those two pieces over there, warthog. Yeah, it's perfect. Bone? It's almost like a ice cakes. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yahtzee. You guys already did this side. Oh yeah, you did. So if people aren't confused. This is a this is a friend's car that you're doing some work on. Yeah, not ours. Good friend of mine. Falcon needs bigger turbos. Yep. Today's the day. So these are Gen 2 Precision 7675 ball bearing turbos. Um, they are mirror image turbos. They have stainless V-band housings. I ordered these from Jason Terrell at Ten Soldiers. It's a pleasure to deal with. Got me a great price on these. Make sure if you uh, are in the market for some precision turbos, Jason at Ten Soldiers is a dealer. And they have updated their website also. The Falcon got bigger turbos. Yeah, so. Can't believe it. Michael Morgan with the uh, Volvo had these on his car with a 388. And that's a big Volvo wagon and it went 690s, 680s in the quarter at 200 and you know 450s in the 8th so in the light, a little bit lighter Falcon it should definitely be capable of 440s, 450s on radials. On slicks definitely should be able to go 480s now on no prep so definitely stepping it up this year with the Falcon. We'll have the 388 in it with these got massive uh, mass cylinder heads on it now it always had trick flow 220s um, it's going to be capable of making 2000 for sure as far as the engine combination goes however much these turbos will flow is how much it should be able to handle so blue with one big or two little that's got two too little, little. That's i one. like too little because however you hold it somebody's going to be able to see what it is no matter what yeah what do we got here mom i don't know how i'm going to pick what tumblers are my favorite but These are new. look at this with the 55 oh that's cool like i'm just my mind is blown right now look at that Those are pretty cool. so i need to pick a few for the website these are perfect yeah for a mick ultra can to fit in hey they're perfect for water yeah that's what i meant with, <laughs> li with lime <laughs> and once you, once you set the camera up somewhere you so you can help too i'll help i'm still here Up any day of the week, man. Hang on. Okay. Just like that. Very nice. Big improvement. Very nice. Your good news today well we're trying to hook up a trailer and it's like a three minute job and somehow it's taken 20 minutes i don't even know if it's hooked. is it hooked up is it hooked up Pierce. Oh,
Low in the front. Low, low in the front. Yes. The hitch is upside down. It's supposed to be the other way. Something like that. I go and I buy hitches and I set them up for my vehicles. And then people take them and fuck them all up. And then they put them back, not how they found them. Who did that? No one uses that hitch other than you. Somebody used it to put it on the Suburban because someone took the Suburban and put it in something else. So what do we need to do? We're going to have to take that ball out of that thing, flip it over, and then put the ball back in where that turned upside down the way it always was. Or, go look at my dually and see if the correct one's in the dually. Hey, you just titled! <laughs> you bitch! Dad? Yeah. What? Yeah. Where? Give me the bought it. Bring it up. Dude, why'd you tattle on him like that? Tattle? You're the older brother. You never tattle. You just got so tattled on. You're fucked. <laughs> what? He's gonna have to find out the next <laughs> Usually the younger brother tattles. It's not tattling. You totally just teetotal tattled on him. How's it going, Rob? Oh, hi, buddy. The sale of the year is here. Oh, we the lazy are taking back lazy. The bar Looks in. like you're putting a anti roll bar in. This is actually a shock relocation. Uh, it looks like you're putting a shock relocation bar in. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to, anyway. You seen the big crescent wrench? Uh, wasn't that drawer up there? Well, he said he was gonna help. Who's helping? I thought Bucko was gonna help, but he just split. Bucko's in his own misery right now. Oh. We can't even get in there. I can't even get in there to get to the merch to get it out. That's the plan anyway. Pick up Tommy's truck. Tommy's truck. Man, look at that crescent wrench. That's a pipe wrench, isn't it? That's for the big jobs. <clears throat> Orange crescent wrench is missing. It's out back. It's under the hood of the expedition oh so jeremy's got it yeah buckwheat's got it back there working on tony and tess's subscursion or whatever the hell that thing is nope, nothing to run the injection system right yeah those are oil injectors they use oil pressure. pressure it's a high pressure oiling system that fires the injectors and if it doesn't have any oil in it, there's no oil pressure to fire the injectors, therefore it won't start. Lack of maintenance. Tony's too busy worried about making sure it's clean and not making sure it has oil in it. I think he said getting it here from California used like 40 gallons of oil. <laughs> <laughs> well, it left three in the driveway. <laughs> Can you take me high? Stuff your monster truck? Step on them? Be careful up there, don't scuff up my monster trucks. Front wheels we could use. That's what was on it, we just took off. Yeah, why'd you take them off? Because you said you wanted them for your car. Those are off Dad's Nova. Those, those are off the Nova. There's oh. no front wheels on it now. Or we can take these. These would actually match. They just need air in them. Alright, we'll just, just take these. 
actually what we'll do is we'll take whatever we have lug nuts for. Yay, I get the bent bogarts. We'll, we're we're going to get you a I set for of RC comps. I don't, don't worry. I want these for my car and the bogarts that are on the back of the truck for my car. You do? Yes. Uh, lug nuts? I, I, I got a stupid stash. Oh, the box. The box. The box of lug this nuts. This is the box of every lug nut ever made. And uh, evidently part of a strap. See, this is how my shit goes. Look at this. Like I, I'm looking at it. A nice organized box of lug nuts, and then people take them and throw them up here. Check this out. What's this? That's the jack cover out of your S10 or out of Billy's S10 or something. Why is S10. that there? How long has I that been there? I don't know. I don't know. That's probably don't been know. there since 2013. You excited to go get the uh, the truck and bring it back to where things get done? She's got what? She's got fat butt disease. She's <gasps> oh, poor baby. What's your deal, huh? Where's where does it hurt? It's like out of a cartoon. <laughs> Come on, muscles. Push. Use your glutes. Need them strange hot boy brakes. <laughs> this thing has a bunch of drag. Jeremy said island boy brakes. Huh? Island boy brakes. I need hot boy brakes. That's what it's got right now. It's got <laughs> island boy brakes. Hey, you got Wilson with you? <laughs> Is that Mr. Wilson? <laughs> what do you think, buddy? I'll tell you what I think. How's the shock relocation going? It's you got the bar in there. Yeah. You just gotta weld the tabs on the rear end. Yeah, we gotta weld the tabs and stuff. Dude, this is going to be a very, very nice car when this is done. I think everybody understands where we're coming from when we say it's come a long way in the it's last few nice days. It's got a nice engine, a nice it's, clutch. Yeah. Yeah. It might get a nice five speed here soon. We'll see. Have you talked to Hamlin about that yet? Not yet. Okay. Because. I don't know if the Muncie will last or not. We'll see. It, We're going to do our best to break it. No, God. You better not. There's we no got to put reason. it through the test. There's no reason to grenade a, a perfectly good Muncie. Just take it out. I'm telling you right. Here's what you've done. Okay. You've ordered a 350 gear for a transmission that I could have told you two weeks ago is not going to stay in this car. It's got a McLeod twin disc clutch and everything Yeah. for so, that trans. Right, and that's going to come out. I guarantee it. Because he's going to put a TKX in this thing, just like we just put in the 55. I guarantee it. And when he does that, he's going to want a center section with a 411 gear or 
four thirty. We'll see. But when that happens, either way, the first gear in the TKX is shorter. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like three twenty seven compared to who knows what that Muncie is. Muncies are terrible low gear. Here. If it's a two twenty, the way the fifty five was, ugh. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds like me when I get up in the morning. Creaking and cracking. I'm gonna push down a little bit. I think we're clear. Yeah. Are it's we not, clear? It's not hitting on the outside. It's it's clearing on this side. Oh. Clarence. Now the big question is to look underneath it and see where it's clearing on the on the inside. Clarence. That's where we were the tightest. Yeah. Oh, nice. I wish we could drop it like two more inches all the way around. I heard Aaron Rodgers, you want to close out this video? Before everybody starts talking shit about we build a barn that's too small, the 55 is going to be gone for the winter. My Nova can go in the race car trailer. That Nova is going to be out of here. This truck's going to be out of here. The Falcon is going to be in here. Your truck's going to be in here and the Camaro's going to be in here. That's really like the main ones that we're working on. So. The Malibu. The Malibu can be in here. Yeah, but I mean, just like, this is, yeah, like you said. It'll be like five cars. Be, yeah, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. Except for I bought another one. I know. Thanks for letting me out put it, today, You said too, you can put way. it under the lean-to, though. Yeah, it'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll go in the lean-to for right now, but thanks for ratting me out today. And I might mom's be, been a pissy mood all day over there. I might be getting a two-car enclosed trailer at some point, or maybe another short enclosed. We can put another car in that. So. Only the cars that we're actually working on are going to be in here. Yeah. Or like, you know, in and out daily. If they're in here, they better be able to run. Yeah. Like, if they're being stored in here, they got to run. And we're well, still... More cars that we're working on. We're still going to have the shop over there in Newark, too. For at least another year, I guess. Yeah. So I have a lift right here. And we'll be able to put a car under the lift with a car on it. And then we'll have another lift over there and drive a car under that if we need to. And then we'll have, you know, four spots between the lifts, probably. And where are you putting the dyno? Right the here. dyno will be at the back. Oh, okay. On that side. We'll be able to back on the dyno. We've got about a month left on the S10 giveaway. The hood will be back Monday, along with the gas lid. Uh, it'll be all ready to go. We'll make some test hits on it here soon. We don't really have a lot of racing coming up until uh, January. So for now, we're going to be focusing on PRI and getting the truck to PRI. So Monday, the S10 engine comes back from Bob's. It broke a couple push rods. He got it fixed up. He had to fly cut the pistons and clear some a little more. I think when it was cold and I started it up that day, it must have just had a little more piston rock than normal, and they rocked into it and kind of caught the edge of the valve. So no big deal. Got it fixed up. It'll be back Monday. Truck's going to PRI. We're going to be in the melling booth. So make sure you guys, if you're coming to PRI, check out the melling booth. We'll be there. Truck's going to be in there. It's going to be a great time. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of projects to work on this winter. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see who wins this blue truck. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll be able to buy it back from him. Hopefully I don't have to offer him like 50 grand. What buy. do you think, Jax? Buckeye's gonna win tomorrow, Jax. What do you think? Jax, what do you think, buddy? Screw that team up north. Buckeye's gonna win? He just likes it. He just, he's happy to exist. It's like, Jax, this, it's like, Dad, this cold, this, the floor is really cold. I'm just trying to get out of here. All right. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.